though I know I'm a candle queen. I wish that could be my hashtag, candle queen. But look how fucking giant this candle is. If you guys would have bought this at Bath & Body Works, it probably would have cost you, like, I don't know, a half year savings. But this was $14. And it's vanilla bean, which is my favorite scent. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like frosting. Oh, God, it smells so good. I just want vanilla frosting. But it's this big. And then I also got one of my other favorite flavors, which is lemon. So I like lemon and vanilla. It is a... Oh, it smells like a lemon drop. Oh, my gosh. And this one was like three bucks or something. Five dollars. Oh, nine ninety-nine. Because it's fancy. Lemon. I love candles, you guys. So when I can't eat, I always just light a nice candle that smells nice. And especially like when I'm cleaning and they're cooking or something, I like to have candle going. I got candles going all the time. Just makes you feel nice. So I'm putting my shoes on. Hello? Yeah. You got cardio? Cardio? Is that calling? Yeah, so I got my, these new shoes, and um, it's just going to be lit. So I'll book you for a session with these new shoes. All right, peace out. Okay, guys, so this is my meal. Look how fucking terrible that looks. I didn't have enough vegetables for a cup. That's literally the only type of vegetables I have, so I'm going to have to eat some more vegetables later. But then I have four ounces of tilapia, and I put some um, sesame ginger sauce on top. And then I have a tablespoon of MTC oil on top. So that is literally meal number two. It's so sad. <laughs> a little bit of a grocery haul. Mm. Grocery haul. Mm, mm, mm. I got the groceries. You see, we got the sitting at home watching my video. <laughs> Time for a grocery haul. We went to the hall. We got some groceries. Went to the other hall. Got some groceries. It was actually called an aisle, but it was a grocery aisle. I went to Aldi and they picked up my groceries because I ordered online and they put them in my trunk. Then I went to Dylan's and got some shit I didn't need. So let's do a grocery haul. Okay, thanks for watching that, but anyway, you guys, I'm literally having so much fun today. So this is all my groceries. That's my groceries, and I'm going to show you what I got, and you're going to be really sad for me, so prepare your sadness. It's going to be sad. It's a sad grocery haul. That's what I should title this video, the saddest grocery haul ever. Hashtag three weeks out. That's what the video will be titled. It's poverty. Just remember, do not copy my macros. Do not try to eat what I eat because you're not in a contest prep and you don't have my body, you don't have my coach, and you're not stepping on a national stage. So don't do it, okay? But anyway, we're gonna see. One, two, three. To be shredded, three weeks out. So what we got here, we got some lean. We got some fresh lean, or I guess it's fresh ground turkey. We got some lean ground beef, 96.4, 99 fat free. We got some leafy romaine. We got spinach, 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 spin, spinach. We got some shrimp. We got some black peppercorn, my absolute favorite all time seasoning in the whole world. We got some lemons to add a little spice to all that water you're gonna have to drink and pee your pants. We did get some decaffeinated chai spice black tea, yum. We also are trying out this little puppy, Tazow. I don't know. Tazow! I don't know if that's how you say it, but Tazow glazed lemon loaf. Now that just sounds like a good time. And my little splurge, my one treat, skinny dipped almonds, super dark sea salt. So I will be having some of those just about a tablespoon. It's like 16 almonds is a serving. That is it, fam. That's it. Everything that I eat in a day to get shredded. So sad. All right, guys. So it is currently 2 p.m. So I finished kind of fast. And I got all of my meals prepped for three weeks out. And I'm really proud. I'm really tired. But I'm really proud. So let's look and see what I'm eating for three weeks out. Okay? Here we go. I'm so excited. La da 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 bam that's a sexy ass meal prep here this is gonna be in like slow motion wow look 
at all the motherfucking goodies. Wow. And then there's more. Oh my goodness. And there's more. Wow. All right, guys. So here's what we're eating. We got meal one. So meal one is going to consist of two cups of spinach. I think it has three ounces of lean ground beef. I did put some cayenne pepper and I just topped it off with a little lemon to make it fun. Then we have meal two, which is a cup of spinach. And then we have, I think, four ounces of a lean ground beef and I did top it off with some lemon. We have meal three, we have a cup of spinach, we have three ounces of lean ground beef, and then for a fat, I added some um, almonds, some honey roasted almonds, about 16 grams of those, and then I ran out of lean ground beef, so then I have the same ground turkey over here, and then it's still gonna be three ounces of shrimp with some almonds on top. Mmm, yum. This is um, meal four, I think. Meal four is gonna be, um, I have a combination of shrimp or ground turkey. It's a cup of spinach. It's about three ounces of ground turkey or shrimp. And then I just did top it off with a little bit of a lemon. Then we have a cup of spinach, meal five. We have, I think, th four ounces of lean ground beef and then some almonds on top. And those are just the chocolate almonds. Absolute best. Tazao tea lemon loaf. It's, it's, a, it smells, um, it smells like sugar. It smells like literally a lemon loaf at Starbucks. Oh gosh. The smell alone is just like freaking on point. Good job to Zao. Mm. So I'm on a bit of a lemon kick. Just give my food a little bit of a flavor. My meals aren't terrible, but they're not very good. So obviously you would have noticed there's no carbs. There's no carbs. So I'm only getting carbs from vegetables. It's a lot of meats. So it's high protein, low carbs, high fat. because so of the almonds. And then I did put, oh, I was just gonna show you guys what I used instead of for my fats on my other meal. So what I used on meal one and meal three I put a tablespoon of MTC oil. MTC oil is gonna help me stay full. It's also, it's kind of like coconut oil, but it's better. It's just a brain fuel. It's gonna help you keep you satiated and um, help with like brain frog. So MTC oil, and it's one of the fats that I use on meal one and meal three. So I just, and I've already put about a tablespoon of that on top of my meals. And then I'm probably gonna drink a gallon to gallon half water. So that's everything that I'm gonna be eating for three weeks out. Rather than take you through and everything that I eat in a day, I'd just rather show you what I eat in a week. I think that's better, I think. Um, so I'm gonna put these all away. I haven't gone to the gym, it's two o'clock, so it's about time to hit the gym. Probably gonna take some stimulant-free, caffeine-free pre-workouts, and then take my BCAAs, creatine, leucine, cardio time, workout time, probably take my dogs on a walk. Saturday, I'm so tired, you guys. It just kind of like hit me. I'm really tired. I kind of want to take a nap, but I don't think that's allowed. And since it's Saturday night, like I want to get my cardio and lift out of the way. It's upper body. It's one of my favorite upper bodies. I already have like my workouts memorized kind of because I do them the exact same. So you guys have seen this workout before. I don't think I'm going to record it. So if you want to see it, just like Go back through, watch my videos. It's the same exact one. We're doing the exact same routine. You're not missing out. I'm sorry I'm not taking you with me, but I'm not sorry because I don't got energy to take this camera around and like set it up. I'm going in, I'm going in hard. I gotta be focused, I gotta lift. I ain't trying to fuck around and watch the videos and blah, 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 blah. It's lifting time. Okay, I know I'm weird. I'm talking to myself in my, my house. That's it. I think I'm really proud of myself for making all those meals. I'm not really, I'm actually kind of excited to eat it, but I'm just like ready for some carbs. It's, I need a refeed. I can tell my body needs food. I just don't feel lean enough. I just can't look at myself. That's why I wear sweatshirts because I just don't think my brain understands 
what's happening. I don't feel lean. I just feel fat, to be honest. I feel like a fucking whale. And um, yes, yeah, so that's what happens on prep. Like I know I like look good. I look probably like the best I've ever looked, but I don't feel that way, guys. I feel like a fucking pile of trash. I feel like a pile of trash. Send help, low carbs life. Um, okay, but we just have to get through it. It's like 21 more days of low carb. 21 more days of low carb. Just think about that. Mm, yeah. Anyway, um, yeah. So we're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. I promise you. I'm gonna take you guys with me. Thanks for being there for me. I love you guys so much. Um, I'm probably gonna record more later. Um, so I changed. I'm in my little workout set. I'm about to go to the gym. I'm just having some caffeine free pre workout with um, creatine and leucine. And I put some BCAAs. Cutler Nutrition Plug Code Savannah 11. So yeah, this is my outfit. Here, it's really cute. It's this matching workout set. Has this little back detail. Or Nordstrom's rack, it's one of my favorites. So I love it. It makes the girls look good. So I'm gonna slam this and then we're gonna go hit cardio. Upper body, abs, steady state cardio. Three o'clock, so it'll probably take me two hours, so I'll get done at five-ish. What's up, guys? I'm back, and it's 5.40. I'm tired. I am, like, so tired. That session took a part of my soul. I'm gonna sit down because I did a lot of cardio, so time to take a sit. Okay, so just in my upper body session. So I did upper body, I got a nice little pump. Um, it was upper body and then um, I had upper body, 20 minutes of abs and I did pose in between my ab sessions. I did hanging, ab, swings, raises, whatever it is. Um, and then I did 20, I think it was 20 minutes of hit cardio and then I did steady state on the treadmill for 25 minutes. So I don't know how long I was at the gym, but it was a long time. It's 5.40 right now. It's dinner time. I'm not even hungry. I don't really want to eat. I'm just kind of over, not over food. I'm just over prep food. And I know I'm the one that like picks the meals, but it's like I have to pick certain stuff. But that's what my coach wants. So it has to be easily digestible. So it's like ground beef or ground turkey or fish or spinach or lettuce or coconut oil right now so it's really basic and my body is just so tired we've been prepping since december so i'm just really tired i didn't get very good sleep last night and that's kind of been a trend this prep is sleep has been terrible i just get so stressed out that i just can't sleep and so like last night uh, last night last night i was up until midnight before i had to take melatonin to go to sleep sometimes it takes me one melatonin last night it took me three melatonin to go to sleep passed out and woke up around seven or eight so i think that was seven ish hours but it just wasn't like good sleep it was like medicated sleep so it wasn't very good so i just woke up drowsy and kind of tired still and then you know i woke up and ate breakfast and kind of diddled around and I'm just tired I'm just it's hot out and I want to get more steps in so I'm not really done exercising today I have to pose tomorrow oh actually I'm really excited so you guys will maybe I'll record this but tomorrow I am doing a posing session with a posing pro her name is Jazzy you might know her um, I think I've talked about it before but I actually have an official session that I did do um, uh, or IFBB Pro Jasmine Gonzalez so I am just obsessed with this girl's posing you guys it is flawless I love it so much and she actually has an amazing physique as well so I, I really think that she's going to be doing big things in the future so I like to do different posing coaches this year is the first year that I've ever had any posing coach I posed with Anya Nicholson who's a part of Team Elite Physique unfortunately her calendar is full so I can't really pose with her and our schedules don't align I pose with Skylar uh, Linear 
so she's an East Coast pro so she's a tall pro I posed with her and I really enjoyed posing with her um, but I'm gonna pose with Jazzy fresh because I really think that she has an eye for detail and that's what I really want. I wanna take my routine from amateur to pro and I think she can help me. So I'm really excited to have my first official session. I did an entry level session where I just showed her my routine for like 15 minutes and she recommended what she would have me do. And so that was really exciting and I'm excited to see what happens to my routine. So I'm gonna work on my routine um, and pose tonight just to get some conditioning for posing. It's something that I'm gonna be doing every single night and in between sets I like to pose in the gym when I'm pumped um, it's really hard for me to get a pump especially because I'm low carb so I don't get pumps like I don't get pumps carbs get you pumps no carbs is like flat I just feel flat I just don't feel full I just look in the mirror and I feel literally fat like I feel fat I, I just don't see the lines. I just don't feel lean enough. I feel like I was leaner a few weeks ago. My weight has been all over the place. I haven't really dropped weight and like, I don't know what's going on. My body is just like resisting weight drops and this sucks because I'm about to be on my period. So I'm bloated as fuck. So I feel like a whale and my stomach is just like crampy and I'm angry and hangry and my emotions are just like all over the damn place you guys I just like I like feel emotional like I felt like I was gonna cry on the treadmill because I was just like so emotionally drained like so tired so just like so I don't know just like exhausted I'm just like I can't keep doing this I'm like I I, I don't that was just like a it was only like a moment that happens and I still finished my cardio and everything, but I'm just like, I don't know, questioning myself. This is what you do in prep. You just question yourself and I just want to be on stage and I'm just ready. I'm ready to compete, but I'm nervous because there's like three weeks left. And it just feels like it's the longest three weeks because I've been waiting for this since December of 2019. I've been prepping since December of 2019, pretty much without any breaks. We were getting refeeds at the beginning, but those have long been gone. So it's just been a really hard end of the prep. And Coach Adam told me, he's like, you're gonna have a hard prep. Cause I was kind of chunky and I had a lot of fat to lose and a lot of muscle to gain, a lot of shapes to build. So my upper body is ready to compete. My lower body up until like mid hamstring is ready to compete but my midsection to about my ass is not ready to compete and just needs to be leaner and tighter and just looking at the pro level, I'm like, I feel so far away from being able to be a pro. That's kind of what I feel like. I literally feel like an amateur and I feel like I don't want to make a fool of myself on the national stage. I just want to be competitive and I feel like I'm just not lean enough and I don't want to get the feedback of come in can work conditioned because they're telling that to pros that I've seen that look phenomenal and their feedback has been more conditioning, more conditioning. And it's always going to be that for me personally, my feedback has always been you need to come in more conditioned. And I have, this is the most conditioned I've been, but I still feel like because bikini is starting to get really competitive, I don't, I feel like that's what the feedback will always be is come in more conditioned, but we're gonna try. I'm not giving up. I don't want you guys to think that. It's just I'm having a moment and I wanted to share what that looks like with you guys. So I'm gonna eat. I'm tired. I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna get out of this. What I'm gonna do to kind of get out of this like funk, I'm gonna journal. I don't do this often, only when I like need to fucking vent and I just don't wanna stay on camera. I don't wanna podcast about it. I don't wanna post about it. I just take my journal and I'm gonna fucking write shit. I'm gonna write, you suck. I'm gonna write everything negative on one page and make it like, I hate my body, I'm fat, all this stuff. And then on the next page, I write everything positive. That's the opposite of all the negative things. And then at the end of it, you just like X off all the negative things. And then you just look at all the positive things. So that's something that like helps me. If you guys want to do it, you can. But I'm going to write like kind of like a burn book about yourself page where you're like, 
you're ugly, you're this, you're fat, you're not lean enough, you're never gonna be a pro. And then you write all the positive stuff on another page where like, you're a pro, you're gonna be good enough, blah, blah, blah. And you just like tear that sheet off and rip it up and tear it apart. So that's something that I do. I'm probably gonna take a shower, that makes me feel good. I'm probably gonna sit outside in the sunshine, that makes me feel good. It's just, prep is hard guys, it's lonely. I'm by myself a lot. Um, yeah, so today I was lifting and I was really in my feelings, really um, just like, like I was lifting and I just was looking at myself in the mirror and I was really sad about how I was looking and in the middle of my set, some random person came up to me and goes, hey, I don't wanna bother you, but I just wanna say your muscle definition is amazing, great work. I don't know who this person is, they had a mask on, but like I needed that so much. Like I don't know who that stranger was, but like that literally like made me be able to push for the rest of my workout set. Like sometimes it's the little things. You guys watching this, telling me all these good things, commenting on my pictures, like it seriously, like you guys don't understand how much I need it and like how, like even I can have bad days too and just those little messages and kind words like seriously like get me through hard days because this sport is fucking hard. It's not like, it's bikini, it's entry, entry level, easy bodybuilding. Guys, okay, the diet is fucking mental it's mental i've never ever ever skipped a training session ever skipped a minute of cardio ever skipped a rep ever skipped an exercise i get my training done and i lift heavy i push myself in the gym it's a fucking diet that makes me feel like a psycho person psychopath i it when i don't have carbs my energy is low my emotions are all over the place. I'm tired, I'm hungry, I'm hangry. When I have carbs, I'm happy, I'm bubbly, I'm full, I'm pumped, I'm excited, all these different things. And then you go from high carb to no carb to low calories, and then high cardio, no energy, stress, no sleep, and then it just starts to build and build and build, and this looming show date starts to build, and you just like, feel all this like pressure coming down on you and there's literally no pressure. I could literally, like, no one has a gun to my head and it's like you have to, have to compete, you have to get leaner. And that's the thing, like, judges don't care what weight you are on stage, they don't care what inches your waist is, what inches your glute are, they don't care about that shit, they just want you to look full and nice and good and lean. So as long as I can do that, then I don't need to stress about the scale or my measurements not moving or how hard I'm able to lift in the gym. So it's all, it's all mental. It's all mental. And sometimes you just need to be like, I'm having a day, I'm having a moment. It's not me, it's the calories, it's low carb and just get over it. So thanks for letting me rant. I'm gonna eat, bye, see you in a bit. What's up YouTube fam? So right now I'm just editing some YouTube videos. I woke up late, it's 11.57. I'm sleeping in, it's like thundering and lightning today. So I'm just chilling in bed, editing some YouTube videos. And then I booked a massage for tonight and I'm so excited. <laughs> I need it, like I'm sore everywhere. I'm so tired. And then I have a posing session with Jazzy Fresh at one, so in an hour. And it's about time to eat, so I'm about to go eat. So I got some shrimp and spinach and some almonds it's just like i don't even want to eat it because it doesn't even sound good anymore so today's rest day so i'm literally resting editing i will get some videos to you guys as soon as i'm done editing and i'm probably gonna go on a light walk tonight just to get some steps in because i missed that exercise but we're just getting down to it three weeks left kind of just finished a posing session. I finished posing with Jazzy Fresh, IFBB Bikini Pro. So she had a lot of good things to say. We were supposed to do a 30 minute session, but she's like, you're really like a seasoned, you have like a seasoned, I'm trying to get my camera to say, she's like, you're pretty like 
she made me feel good she's like you really know your routine we don't need 30 minutes you only need like 15 minutes so we're gonna break my sessions down into 15 minute increments so i can use more of them so that was really good so we just have to work on some hand placement and how i transitioned from front to back and just like how i push my glutes and stuff like that so i'm in my show day look and we're having a low carb meal so it's just ground turkey and spinach and some mtc oil so we are getting there y'all we are getting there all right i'm trying to get my camera set up yeah so we're we're getting we're getting lean and um there we go so we're getting lean and yeah so i'm just doing some posing i did book a massage for five o'clock today and i'm so happy because i'm so sore everywhere Mm. That's so good. It's actually not that good, but whatever. Almost there, three weeks. Three weeks to go. So once I eat this, I'm gonna show you guys my routine real quick. video short sweet to the point do a little bit of a posing and that's what i'm going to end you guys with i don't have very much going on so i need to edit this video so you guys got to see my posing routine three weeks out and i'm getting a massage later today so i'm so excited so i'm just gonna chill edit some videos thank you so much for watching i love you guys all i'm so excited that you guys are on my journey with me we have three weeks literally 21 days left two weeks till peak week and then we can have carbs yes so i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching i have new youtube videos every sunday mostly so you guys can find me here every sunday i love you so much don't forget to like subscribe follow me on instagram at savannah sharp fitness and i love you see you in the next one